Hi guys, it's Maria. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I always get so awkward doing these introductions. I think I've tried to say hi five times, but I'm often using too much hand, too much hand, too many, too many hands. <laughs> This has been a long time in the making. I have been procrastinating for the last uh, six to seven years. Beauty is something I am extremely passionate about. You know me, you know that it is something I absolutely love and, and talk often about. I get really excited when new launches come out and I don't have anyone in my circle of friends that is as obsessed and excited about makeup as I am. Maybe my mom is one of them but I just want more people to talk to about and get excited with me. But as much as I love a full makeup look, I also really enjoy minimal makeup. In fact, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't wear any. I just use lots of skincare and that's been because I do work from home so who am I gonna glam up for the postman <laughs> so that's enough about me and I hope that gives you an idea of who this random that popped up on YouTube is what I really wanted to do today was go through my most loved products in 2020 so let's go ahead <laughs> So the first product that we have is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Tanning Mousse. Now I will leave a description of all the products in the description box down below. What I really enjoy about this product is the way it applies in comparison to some other mousses I have recently tried. I find that this just glides on and I don't know about you but I often get patches on my skin where the tan just won't stick as I'm applying it and that makes me panic because I feel like I'm going to get a really patchy end result. But the guide color in this just glides on beautifully. There are no um, areas on my skin that it doesn't adhere to. One of the best things about this tan is that it's express. So I don't sleep in it. You don't have to sleep in it. You apply it and you leave it on between one to three hours depending on how deep you want your tan to be. I usually do two hours, which is a medium tan. You rinse it off with water and then it will continue to develop throughout the day or the night. And this means that I don't end up with tanned bed sheets. Also, the color is incredible, amazing. It's so, so natural to the point where most people don't actually realize I'm wearing fake tan, which is the whole point of it. Um, and they only find out when I tell them. Top secret. <laughs> Next product that actually goes in line with fake tan is this tanning mitt by Luna Bronze. I got this from Mecca here in Australia, which if you are not from here or don't know what Mecca is, it's basically like a Sephora. They just sell various beauty brands. My favorite thing about this mitt is the fact that it has space for your thumb. So what that means is when you are applying your tan, you can actually curve the mitt around your body and around your curves and makes and it just makes it overall much easier to apply. The next thing I have loved is a candle. It is my very, very first diptych candle from Mecca once again. The one I got was the, look, it's vanilla scented, but it they call it vanilla or vanilla, I'm not too sure. Either way, it's their vanilla candle and oh my goodness. It's vanilla, but it's not sweet. It's not your typical vanilla candle. It just smells really fancy. It is, uh, I, I actually have no words to describe it. You're gonna have to smell it yourself, but my goodness, even just smelling it without it being on, or being lit, it, uh, I, I can't. You're gonna have to smell it yourself. I burn it for about an hour each time. I don't wanna leave it burning for too long because they are not cheap. If you want a good quality candle that you can really smell long after it's been burning, this is it. Just strongly recommend. Next is a powder by Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Uh, is that upside down? <laughs> 
Anyway, I'll leave it in the description box down below so you know exactly which product it is. This stuff is extraordinary. So the reason it caught my eye is because I saw a Facebook ad, I think it was, and the model in the picture, she had the powder on one side of her face and not the other. And the side that had it on was incredible. It looked so smooth. The pores just looked completely minimized. In fact, I couldn't even see pores. And I thought, yeah, right, I'm going to have to see for myself if it really works. And I know that Nikia Joy, the YouTuber behind this brand, she has oily skin and enlarged pores, which she is the same skin type that I have and wow that ad isn't even lying it's insane the way I apply is that I do my full foundation put my concealer on get a wet beauty blender dip it in the powder and just apply under my eyes I also do my nose my chin and middle of the forehead just where I get the most oily and I bake the area so I basically leave the powder on for a couple of minutes and then brush it off with a brush and I don't know I mean I don't know where's your pores I gone <laughs> and you'll find that your foundation just lasts really well sets concealer beautifully so big thumbs up for that one next is nail polish now I don't know about you guys but I cannot, or before this, I could not find a nail polish that would last me more than two days. Um, they would just start chipping and it just put me off doing my nails because it's it feels like such a long process doing them and making sure that they're dry that to me I didn't see the point if it was going to last a day or two until I discovered the Essie Gel Nail Polish. This stuff lasts on my nails for about five days before it starts chipping. And for me, that's unheard of. So I have a shade here called Spool Me Over. Don't know if you can see that. And it's a light pink. And the other one is the top coat. So I do two coats of this one coat of the top coat and you've got a five day manicure amazing stuff next we have a makeup brush from Fenty Beauty now this is an angled brush for contouring and I can't tell you how easy this brush makes it to contour your cheeks the fact that it's slanted and curves on the sides does that make sense have a look, hopefully you can see. Sorry, the brush is a bit dirty. The shape of the brush just makes it really easy to get your contour color as it hugs your cheekbone. There is basically no way, in my opinion, that you could get this wrong. Obsessed. Now, I couldn't find an eyeliner that I loved for the waterline until this guy walked into my life. <laughs> and it is the By Mario eyeliner pencil so you have the oops that's not it the pencil on one side and on the other side you have a little blending brush I love the shape of this brush because it's flat and once you've drawn your eyeliner you can actually blend it a little bit just to make it a little bit more smoky it stays on in the waterline like a dream and it doesn't start to smudge under my eyes or collect in my inner corner this is the brown shade called the perfect brown and you can also get it in black i love 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 this product <laughs> Next in line, we have a lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is part of their matte lipstick range in the shade Soft Touch. I'm actually wearing it today, and I find it to be the perfect nude lipstick. I have loved it throughout the last 12 months, and I well, I have a lot of lipsticks, I just keep reaching for it. It seems to go really well with most eye looks and it stays on really well. It is, I'd say, slightly drying being a more matte lipstick, but I do tend to prefer matte over. 
Next is a body wash by Lush. It's called Honey, I Wash the Kids. This is the mini version. Look, yeah, it's finished. Um, I, all I have to say about this is it smells better than what honey smells like. <laughs> It is amazing. It just, if you like sweet scents, you're gonna wanna douse yourself in this. You're just gonna have to try it. You can get it obviously in bigger bottles as well. I just got a small one just because I didn't feel like spending more on the larger one. You're gonna have to try it if you love the scent of honey. It's a body wash, there's not much else to say about it. It just smells good. <laughs> Next in line, we have a fragrance. I'll just get the name for you. Hopefully I don't butcher it. It is the Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP by Mason Francis. I can't pronounce the surname, so I will leave this in the description box down below so you can see exactly which one I'm talking about. Now, I only have a sample of this fragrance because it is expensive, and I bought the sample from eBay just to see what it smells like before I go on and commit. For 35 mils, it is $204 or 70 mils is 347, 200 mils is 684 Australian dollars. Wow. The fragrance is intoxicating. I only spray it once and it lasts all day. I can smell it on myself for hours after. It has notes of jasmine, saffron and cedar wood. I cannot get enough. You just smell like, you know what, maybe this is what the queen smells like. But something else that's really special about this perfume is the way that it's made. And there is someone who works in Mecca that has described this process in a Facebook group that I'm in. Um, he says, sorry if I'm looking down, I'm just reading. The reason why it's so expensive is because of how it's made. After being boiled to 540 degrees, it's poured over ruby crystals and stirred with 24 karat gold. Very bougie, but very pretty. Yeah, he's right. It is so pretty. This is what the sample looks like. It's just a little spray vial, spray little bottle and because I only spray it once and I only wear it on special occasions one of these actually lasts me months and I only paid about 12 to 15 dollars including shipping on eBay so worth it if you just want to try it. Here is a lip liner that I have loved. It is the MAC Lip Pencil in Cork. I'm not very good at describing colours but it is the way that I use it is as a nude or neutral lip liner that I wear with all my nude and pinky lipsticks. I'll put some on my hand, hopefully you can see that. There it is. It's actually perfect for uh, that 90s or that Pamela Anderson lip look where you have the slightly darker lip liner and then the nude lipstick. It draws on really well um, and it stays on really well too. Now living in Australia, well, no matter where you live, you should be wearing sunscreen. Actually here in Perth, I feel like it's just always sunny. But even when it's not sunny, you should really be wearing sunscreen every single day. I wear facial sunscreens daily throughout the whole year. Now having oily skin and enlarged pores, I don't like anything greasy. I can't stand it, especially if I have an event during the day and I'm going to wear foundation on top. I need it to be lightweight and feel comfortable on my skin and something that doesn't make my makeup slide off. I found it. I did. It is the Biore or Bior UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus. Sorry, I know you can't see that very well. This is the Aqua Rich Cooling one. I think the original one doesn't have a cooling effect. I don't know how strong this cooling effect is. To be honest, I couldn't feel the difference between this one and the original one that I've, I've also tried. But the thing I love the most about this is just how lightweight it is. It is a weightless gel that you don't even feel. I'll pop some on just so you can see the consistency on my hand. 
there it is and as I massage that in you can see how it seems to disappear straight away and it's gone it feels like nothing on your skin if you want a really good lightweight high SPF sunscreen highly recommend I believe this is a chemical sunscreen not a physical sunscreen so generally speaking your chemical sunscreens are more lightweight and a thinner consistency as opposed to the physical sunscreens which are often zinc based so for an oily skin type or at least for myself um, I do prefer a chemical sunscreen and guys if there's one thing you can take from this whole thing is wear sunscreen every single day the end now when kim kardashian's makeup artist mario told the world that he was launching his own makeup products i i lost it guys i was so excited i put a timer on my phone not a timer i put an alarm on my phone to make sure that i wouldn't miss out at launch I do that a lot actually. I will put alarms on in the middle of the night if there is a product launching overseas. I will get it if I really want it. From that range, you saw the eyeliner before and another product that I have really loved from his line are the eyeshadows. So I've got two here. The first one is the Master Mattes eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, it is just a stunning matte neutral palette, beautiful color story. And what I really, really enjoyed is the fact that it has a darker black, darker black, it has a black and a dark brown in it. Now this makes it really easy to take your look from day to night. Sometimes with neutral palettes, they're missing that darker color or that rich black that allow you to do that. So when you go away and you want one palette that takes you from day to night, you're having to take a palette and an additional darker shade. With this, it's in the baby, so it's really easy. Apply the darker shades on the other corner of your eyes or smoke them out on your bottom lash line and you're good to go dancing with your friends. <laughs> the other palette that I have from by Mario is the Master Metallics. I have been using this one in conjunction with the matte palette just to add a pop of color, something a bit more fun. And they're really, really beautiful eyeshadows. They are fairly pigmented. They're not overly pigmented, which I love because it actually makes it a lot easier to blend the colors in my opinion minimal fallout if none at all and they stay on and blend like a dream if you are new to bronzer or scared of bronzer and just don't know how to apply it to make it look really lovely and seamless hourglass has got your back what i have here is the ambient lighting bronzers this is luminous bronze light and then i have another one a mini size baby one in diffuse bronze light so because these are quite expensive I did buy the mini one first and then I fell in love and upgraded to the regular side diffuse bronze light is what I love wearing when I don't have fake tan on and luminous bronze light I prefer to use when I do have fake tan on what I love so 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 much about these bronzes is the way they seamlessly apply on your skin there is no way you're gonna get this wrong you can never see where you've started applying and where you finished it and they give you a beautiful luminous glowy finish while still being a powder so very still very suitable for oily skin but also amazing for someone with a drier skin type that suffers from dullness and just want something to pick up their skin and make it look really alive i cannot recommend them enough they are just incredible you're gonna have to try them for yourself i'm not sure if you can get the baby one in Australia um, I got it overseas but I mean if you can have a look at the Mecca website otherwise don't even bother just jump straight to the Big Daddy they are so good and you will not regret it my next love for 2020 is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundation if you have skin like mine 
oily in large pores. You want something that helps to control shine and oil and stays on throughout the day. I mean, just stop wasting your time. This is it. I had used this years and years ago, but I got excited about all the other products that were coming out and sort of forgot about it for a long time actually and last year I went back to it. It stays on so so well and having oily skin we often have trouble with separation of your foundation. Is that a good wrap? Separation of your foundation. <laughs> I don't have that issue with this foundation and a trick with it is to actually apply small amounts at a time because you don't need very much to get the full coverage that this foundation promises. My favorite brush to apply this foundation with is the Morphe Y6 brush. It is so, so good. It makes it really quick and easy. And Next in line is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liquid Eyeliner. So it is a felt tip like that and it's really, really nice and sharp, which in my opinion, makes it a lot easier to draw a wing and to be really precise with it. The reason I love this so much is I have used some other liquid liners before where I find if you have a full eyeshadow look and go to apply your lip planner on top, there are some areas where it just stops working and you just can't draw that line. Like you'll start, then it'll stop drawing, then it'll go again. But with this, it just draws beautifully the whole way through. It is so, so rich and black and stays on really well. Look, I'm not sure what else you could ask for wash my dishes, up to you. <laughs> Next is a concealer by Jeffree Star. I'm pretty sure it's just called the Magic Concealer. Looks like this. How pretty is the component? It totally gives me Sailor Moon vibes. <laughs> so pretty. This concealer, I wear it primarily under my eyes um, and I do have a slightly lighter shade than my skin tone just for that brightening effect. It is a thin consistency but it covers really, really nicely. What I really like about this product is how smoothly it applies and it doesn't sit in any lines. Um, second last guys, we're almost there. Uh, the Acne Pimple Master Patches from Cosrx. So most of us are used to the traditional pimple cream or pimple spot cream, but these are actually patches that are see-through and you pop them on your pimple. Some people wear them out. I'm not quite brave enough to do that. I feel like you can still see them, but I wear them overnight over a blemish and I find that they dry up and minimize the look of the pimple overnight. They also stay on really well without coming off or moving off my face. Really, really good. Hi. Last but not least, we're going back to Hourglass. It is the Hourglass Arch Micro Sculpting Eyebrow Pencil. So it is a fine eyebrow pencil that has a slight dent in it at the top, which I find makes it really easy to apply. I basically draw along the bottom edge of my eyebrows, and then I go in and fill out any gaps. And on the other side, like with most, you have a spoolie just to brush up the color and blend it all in. I find it's really, really easy to apply. It's not too waxy. I find some eyebrow pencils are a bit too waxy and they look slightly shiny, but this one is wonderful. It makes it really easy to draw on your eyebrows. So guys, that's it for my most loved products of 2020. Thank you so much for watching my first video and hopefully you will watch the next one as well. If you have any feedback or if there are any products that you loved last year that stood out to you and you want me to try, please leave a comment down below and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>